No way. Look at that. <laughs> so awesome. Sick. <laughs> Okay, we have woken up to some insane conditions here in Bend. Um, we've got like this crazy low cloud fog situation going on, but it's also, what is it, like minus eight Celsius? So it's just like, be cold. Frosty ice, mm -hmm. everything is iced, and you can, the, the road's like a skating rink. Insert Instagram video. But Flynn don't care. The Flynn show must go on. Got a tempo run this morning because she's getting ready to race Indian Wells. I'm not, so I'm gonna film a little bit and then I'm gonna be getting on the phone with the manufacturer of this treadmill because it's not working. And then going to get the big surprise.
just got a very unfortunate, frustrating phone call. Um, it's okay, it, but I don't know how much we've talked about this on the actual, on the YouTube versus on the podcast, but um, we're in the market for a new van and we were going to be checking one out here in Bend, but there has been a slight hiccup with getting it here and the weather and everything. So that's gonna have to wait till next week now. And I have got to come up with something to do for the rest of this episode. And it's Friday. It'll be worth the wait though, I promise. <laughs> uh, let's go find something to do. It's off to a solid start. This is the Sadie Hawkins dance where the girl asks the boy to the date. Oh my god. Does somebody want to say what we're doing here? Yes. Because we're going to the ho Ruffwear Holiday Party. No, Holiday oh, Holiday. It's definitely a pouty. It's all about the dog. <laughs> And Chris said to Jimmy on the way out the door, you're not allowed to shit and you can bleep that out <laughs> at the barcuterie bar. Oh so Roughwear is actually a bend company and Chimmy got invited because she's a Roughwear VIP and Flynn got the plus one. And we got the plus one, 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 one. Chimmy needed a date. <laughs> <laughs> Flynn's her date. We gotta get Flynn's Holly hanging across the door Neighbors singing tales of yours It's so close, hardly can wait Waking up on Christmas Children dreaming without a care Tis the season most everywhere So come home there's no better place Waking up on Christmas Day Hashtag accessorize Like breaking change of plans, I just got a phone call and the surprise is happening after all, somehow. So we gotta roll. No way. Look at that. So awesome. Sick. <laughs> Are we good? I think I'm recording. There yeah. should be like a red box around the yeah, screen. Yeah, it says it's counting down. Seven seconds. Eight seconds. No way. Okay, it's counting up. Good. Counting up. That's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what do I know? Um, Learning. Man, I don't even know where to start, but I'll try to start at the beginning. Um, this is a van. This is not our van. We're borrowing this van. Uh, when when I have listed our Sprinter or posted on Instagram that our Sprinter was for sale, somebody who works at Mercedes-Benz Vans USA reached out to me and asked if we had found a new van yet and if we were looking at Mercedes and... Of course we were. We were getting ready to buy one locally that's not yet built out. And I was gonna try to build it out over the winter. And uh, they asked if, if they could help and be involved. And ultimately what has happened is that we're now going to be test driving a couple of different van options because Mercedes is going to be amazingly giving us a van and we get to kind of have it built out any way that we want. I just want to clap right now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, that's pretty exciting. It's actually completely mind blowing. <laughs> so this van is uh, from a company called Storyteller Overland. And we have been in love with these vans for a long time. They're super beautiful. And yeah, so we're demoing this van for our trip to Indian Wells and seeing if we like the layout. And if we do, then we might choose this to be our builder. But uh, there's so many options out there, as you know, with vans, but this one is super high quality, super good uh, reputation. And yeah. so far the layout's been amazing. So we'll see on our road trip. Things that we were, uh, the kind of the reasons we were hoping to get a new van to start over is that we now have Flynn. We want to need a uh, layout that works for that. We wanted to get a van that was four wheel drive or all wheel drive. Now that we're doing a lot more skiing and we've had some kind of terrifying drives back and forth between Canada and December. And check out these tires. Yeah. 
This thing is uh, ready Super to go. Four wheel drive. Ready to go anywhere. Um, this van actually has an air conditioner as well, so we could go on warm weather camping. That's been a major issue with Flynn. We can't leave him in the van when it's 90 degrees outside. Um, it also has a heater. It has everything you could ever want in a van. 10 times as much electrical capacity as our current van, which is just mind blowing. And, but anyway, we're going to get a lot more into it uh, next week and in the coming weeks as we kind of try it out and see what we really like and what we don't like and we'll let you guys know. But uh, we can just, this is a real quick and dirty tour. Yay. Um, this is a quick and dirty tour? Yep. So we got the Groove Lounge, which turns into a second bed and also is a good platform to Flynn, for Flynn to sit in. <laughs> this is a fridge. I think our current van does not have a fridge. Good boy. Load Fridge. this up from here at the grocery store and then you got all the things you need. The flip down thingy? Yep. We can outdoor cook. We can indoor cook. There's an awning that comes out. We won't go all into that, but it's freaking fancy and electronic and it has lights on it. We've got a shower that pulls down, which we might use. We're definitely going to try it. Yeah, we're definitely going to try it. It's nice to have. So yeah, this goes totally flat. It can be used as like either a bench seat or a third bed. This is the cooktop. You can take it out and put it on that little flip down table out there if it's nice out. Huge garage space, not quite as big as our old van because of all the battery and the water and everything, but in our future van, we will customize that a bit so it fits yeah. bikes better. Yeah, our current van does not have any sort of sink or water of any sort. We have actually just like a cube from REI that holds water. So bug nuts. It does take up fan, space. AC, full control unit up there. It's so nice. It's like everything you could want it has. So you gotta spin around and look at how freaking fancy that cockpit area. Oh yeah the cockpit's what I'm most excited about. <laughs> actually like this does this does car play. It's got Adaptive cruise control. We got a bazillion lights for when we you know we off road in the desert. Um, but our current van basically has cruise control, and that's about it. This has adaptive cruise control, lane keeping, 360 degree cameras for when you're parallel parking. It's very safe. Uh, it's a spaceship, and it is very safe. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha, for helping us film and take pictures. And uh, we'll see you guys next week from the road. From the road. We got to get this thing all packed up. We're going to be racing Indian Wells from the van. So maybe I can win a race from the van too. <laughs> That's the dream. <laughs> Living the dream. See you guys. Um.